good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you are, I hope you're having a good one. Uh, today we are tying a Kiwi Classic, uh, the good old Hearing Copper. Um, it's a great place for everyone to start off with. Um, I don't know, many Kiwis who uh, take up fly tying who don't start with this. Um, I heard it say it's a, a knockoff of the old um, Hairs Ear, and we just, uh, when it started making the rounds in New Zealand, uh, we just didn't have uh, all the right materials to really uh, finish it off, but can't really find much about where it started, but it is uh, pretty much as you know, as it sounds, here for the body, copper wire, hair and copper, a little bit of pheasant tail uh, for the uh, tail, and if you want, some lead wire or a bead. Uh, but it's a great building block, a uh, great place to start uh, if you're just getting into tying to learn a lot of the basics like uh, proportions and uh, just wrapping different materials. But we'll crack into it. I hope it, hope it is a uh, helpful one for you, uh, especially if you're just getting started. Um, we're using a brown Semperfly uh, Classic Wax Thread, uh, again in the adult for this one. But let's go, give it a go. Enjoy. Right, our hook today is a Kamasan B175 size 10 and again I'm using that 8 aught classic wax thread from Semperfly in brown. Um, a lot of this you can mix up, I know I, uh, I, don't know, I don't want to state the obvious but play with the colours, have some you know, little hunt around in your local waters and see what's there. This really is just a really general uh, pattern. Uh, it ticks the box for a lot of things here from Caddis, uh, Mayfly. And the bigger sizes if you swung it through the water as well we'll probably get it taken as something um, just want to get that tied in um, the lead wire is optional I like it to build up the body um, this is just in uh, 0 0.01 um, yeah just get that secured in as well so it doesn't uh, shift around on you and then we'll move into the tail Right, just using a uh, pheasant tail for the tail. I'm just going to take a clump of feathers, maybe about 8 to 10 or 12. Let's, uh, just change it up depending on the uh, size of the hook. And I do it about half the length of the hook shank. Uh, give or take. And the fish ain't going to judge you for it. And then just get them secured in. and get rid of the uh, scrappy bits. Alright, next up got some copper wire. I'm using 0.2mm uh, copper wire from uh, Semperfly. And you just want to tie that in on uh, your side of the hook. Nice and secure. Now I use the uh, thicker thread for this one because we are slowly building up. You can kind of see it there. You know, a bit of a taper. Uh, on the back of the fly and as we go forward um, you just want to have it that nice uh, bug like shape uh, but next up's the dubbing and then we're almost done all right as is its name here or here in copper so we're using a uh, here's dubbing uh, this stuff's quite cool uh, it's got a little bit of UV uh, mixed through it as well so not are you getting all not only are you getting all the uh, guard here is all spiky and sticking out and stuff you've also got this little bit of flash through it um, to be honest it's, it's a great fly even without it um, I just get a nice little dubbing noodle on there and we're just going to bring that forward around the body just wrap it as you go if you need to re-tighten the, uh, the little noodle uh, by all means do it but just remember as well, like as you bring that uh, wire through it, you know, it's going to cinch it all down onto the body too, you know, make it a bit more streamlined. Um, I like to try to make sure I've got plenty of the guard hairs when I do uh, pick it out. Hopefully this should be more than enough actually, I might, I might just take a little bit off that noodle. Um, I'm just going to build this body up. But if, You've just got to be careful once you've got that uh, lead body under there. Uh, it can cause the thread to slip as you come back down. Um, last little bit. And we're just building up a, 
and just building up that body until we get into the end there. And there we go. All right. We're just going to uh, wrap this around the body just to give it that ribbing. And copper gives it a nice little flash as well. If you can, try not to uh, catch too many of the uh, fibers, but try to keep it nice and evenly spaced. And once you're at the head, uh, you can tie it off. Again, this is a very simple fly, um, but a very effective one. There we go. Just grab the scissors. You can helicopter that off if you want. I just cut them off with the pair of scissors that are at the end of their life. I don't really worry too much about blunting them. I just tie that in. I like to give it a little bit of a head. It looks like something just poking out there. And then we will uh, tie it off. You know, even once these have uh, been battered around and chewed on and spat out, and been through a few trees and what have you, and all raggedy, uh, they fish really well. They just seem to get better and better and better as they uh, get more and more munted. Right, there we go, hair and copper. Here's fur, copper wire, pheasant tail tail. Easy as. Um, hope you've enjoyed. Hope it's a handy one. Uh, happy tying. Enjoy. Cheers.